All praises to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rechak Wadash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith, in truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers, Shalom unto you. All right, look at this. Perfectly healthy. Put him in a vat of water and he finds his way to safety every time. 5.2. Now, look at this guy. What he's been eating is the equivalent of a North American diet, complete with all the fats and sugars we regularly consume. He doesn't know where to go. His brain has been damaged. These rats were totally normal, and then they turned into demented animals. They don't remember their learning after even a day. And um, as the challenge gets harder and harder, they fail more and more, just like a human with Alzheimer's disease. 36.2. In this lab, the belief now is that Alzheimer's is really diabetes of the brain, linked to insulin levels, which can be affected by too much sugar. Professor Suzanne Delamonte. Insulin resistance, we now know, can occur in any organ. It can occur in the muscles, that's what diabetes is. It can occur in the liver, that causes fatty liver disease. It can occur in the ovaries, that's polycystic ovary disease. And it can occur in the brain. Perfectly healthy. Now, let me get this scripture real quick. Then I got a few things to say. So Ezekiel 4 and 13 and Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I have driven them. Put him now, now you see why people are bugged the fuck out. You know, um, over the years, you know, you come across videos about, you know, the foods that we eat. And, you know, um, the scriptures already said that our that our feet that our meat was going to be defiled. So um, but when you go to other countries like Africa, you know, they eating the real stuff. So they talk about how, you know, when they eat the real food, they go use the bathroom. You know, that's why a majority of Americans is constipated. As this video right here, you know, people in America can't even remember what they did an hour ago. Man, it was one time, <laughs> it was one time that I was looking for my phone and my phone was in my hand. True story. And I had to like sit back and laugh, you know, cause sometimes you forget things like you, I'm pretty sure everybody have like either sat something down, went to go do something and then you forgot where you set it down at. So, but it's all because of the foods that we eat, uh, that saying that you are what you eat is true. And Alzheimer's, which I came across a video a while ago, and I remember the doctor was saying that um, Alzheimer's was a newly created disease, and it came from what she said is basically diabetes of the brain. And he said it started running rampant in like the 70s, I want to say. You know, so this is why. The people is bugged the hell out, man. On top of, you know, so you got people who dies is messed up. You eating Frankenstein food. Majority of Americans live off of fast food. The worst of the worst, you know. So you wonder why Pookie and Ray Ray can't get right, <laughs> you know. And of course, and then the Lord prophesied. But see, everything have a, a process. That's the thing. Everything have a process. So, um. You know, this is one of the processes that make people bug the hell out, you know, and then you got on top of that. You got, you know, Job 9 and 24. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. But this devil, he have the earth in his hands. He don't grow food rightly. What he want to do is create food like I call it Frankenstein food, you know, and he want to genetically modify organisms. And it's a reason for that, but I don't want to get too deep. But put it like this. He got the matter of fact. I'm going to have to get a little. 
I ain't about to go all into this because that's going to take away from the video, but the spirit made me mention it. So it says, behold, you has driven me out this day from the face of the earth and from your face shall I be hid and I should be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that everyone finding me shall slay me. Is it is it? Let me see. year ago it's 4 and 12 when you till us the ground it shall not henceforth yield unto you her strength so esau which is um cain you know cain is esau in the reincarnation but they got the curse that the earth don't react to them they have to gen genetically modify organisms because as the scripture says the earth don't yield its strength you know so that's why even the land of Israel is not fruitful the way that it should be because they over there, you know. So, um, like I said, I ain't want to take away from the video because then I got to prove how, you know, Cain is Esau, even though it's very easy. But, you know, but um, anyway, but um, but going back to this. So, and another thing, Revelation 11 and 18. Matter of fact, let me get that before I come back to this, because the poor damn rats, man, they always spearmitting on rats. And mice and shit. Leave the damn mouse alone. It said, and the, and the nations were angry, and your wrath has come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that you should as give reward unto your servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear your name, small and great, and should have destroyed them which destroyed the earth. So, the point of me reading this scripture is the last sentence destroy them which destroyed the earth. Because what this devil do, he hold all creation in prison. He always testing on monkeys and mice, you know, through his experiments. And then he eventually uh, get to people. So just to show. And his way to safety every time. 5.2. Now look at this guy. What he's been eating is the equivalent of a North American diet. Com right. And. Like I said, over the videos that I've been watching over the years, uh, America, because you got to understand. So when you go to other countries, it's a lot of things that's not allowed to be sold over there, but it could be sold over here. Like even when you look behind, like say if you looked at a ketchup in the UK and you look at a ketchup here, you got like an extra 24 ingredients for the ketchup. So Babylon the Great got the worst food. Got the most bugged out people. And as the scripture says, you know, Babylon, the, 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 um, matter of fact, I want to make a point in the um, scripture that I'm trying to quote. So it said, Babylon have been a go to cup in Yahweh's hand and may all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. So, the reason I got this scripture is because, you know, this place have ruined the world. This place is where all wickedness stem from. This place have spread wickedness into the four winds of the earth. All right. So this place is the face of the world. This is the kingdom. This is Babylon the Great. As I said, the golden cup in the Lord's hand. All right. This is the greatest kingdom to ever been on the face of the earth. And guess what? All nations follow. They drunk of the wine. They are mad. That's for another lesson. But they realized that they got the shitty end of the stick. And that being down with America wasn't all, you know, it was up to, you know, basically it wasn't all that it was up to be, you know. But um, another thing. So watching that and I'm going through the spirit. So Lord willing, this is edifying. I ain't have nothing. I just saw the video. I uh, got my recording <laughs> and I push play and I said, you know what? I'm allowed the spirit do what it do. All right. So it said now as we plead with all the right here. So as you see, the rat was OK till he put the rat and I call it American experiment. So then when he got put in, a, you know, the fats and sugars, you know, he the damn rat became an Alzheimer, man. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Alzheimer's, but, um, but yeah, got dementia, but when he was in regular water, you know, he was able to find his way. Then you put him in the poison, lost his damn mind.
So that's why this is the scripture that actually made me think. Like soon as I watched the video, this is the first scripture that came to mind. So it says, for behold, darkness shall cover the earth, earth and gross darkness the people. So people are bugged the hell out because of the diet. And then when you go to Isaiah 19 and 14, the Lord said that he was going to mingle a perverse spirit. Because all of this is the Lord's will. That's the first scripture that I started off with. We was going to eat our bread, the fowl, with the Gentiles. Why? Because we sin. This is our punishment. So you got to remember that. But just because we're on punishment right now, don't mean that this devil ain't going to pay for everything that he done. So it said, for behold, darkness shall cover the earth, gross darkness to people. But Yahweh... Bashim Yahushua shall arise upon you and his glory should be a scene upon you. So we are the only light in this world. People don't make videos like this. You know, only the Israelite, real prophets. You don't even have, you know, I'll call them the knockoff Israelites. They want to debate Christians all day. You know, they want to make rap videos and barbecues. They're not prophesying. Like they, yeah, they'll tell you that, yeah, we under curses and they'll tell you to keep the law. But where are you? How is shy at in, in, in that process? Because keeping the law, we do to the best of our ability, but we can't be saved by it. Because if you offended one, you offended all. But back, I must digress. But um, so the point is, like I said, this really wasn't going to be long. Like I said, I, just, I saw the video. I pressed record. Lord willing, it's edifying. Everything through the spirit. But yeah, this damn devil got to go. Then you wonder why people bugged out. Oh, matter of fact, this is a perfect scripture too. Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink and putteth your bottle to him and maketh him drunk it also. So to use it in the form that I want to use it in, because you actually can use it that way, is that the foods that we eat. So you, you feed people poison. And you know that's going to bug them out. You know that's going to cloud their mind. But then you will put these people on the news and make mockery of them and call them animals, beasts, and thugs. And you already know that Jake neighborhoods and Jake grocery stores got the worst food possible. But you cast them out on the news as bugged out, uh, crazy, three-fifths of an animal, thug, savage. But you the real savage and thug. Ooh, I can't wait to the kingdom because everybody going to see you for the caveman that you are. So it says that you may as look on their nakedness. So, you know, to be naked is to be without the Lord. And when we are without the Lord, because the Lord is our power. Oh, we are through. We are through. Look at us, man. As a people, as a whole, we ain't shit. And then the ones who get a little crumbs they got to do some abominable things just to get a couple crumbs man so they ain't shit either a lot of people gonna find out the hard way fats and sugars we regularly consume he doesn't know where to go his brain has been damaged damage. so yeah so the reason that you know the people here is bugged out two reasons the foods waters that we consume and also the will of the Lord, he said that he, he, he was going to make this happen, you know, but if only ones that's going to see like, damn, I need to repent. I need the Lord. I want him to come save me from this hell. You got people who love Frankenstein food. You tell people. Matter of fact, I know for a fact that they've been saying that McDonald's meat is um human meat. Niggas still go to go get a double cheeseburger any chance that they get. I don't recommend any of the food, but it is what it is. We under curses, but damn, what about a chicken sandwich? Now we already heard what was going on with the chicken, but that's new. I'm talking about back in the day. I heard about, you know, uh, uh, McDonald's playing, playing with the human meat. All right. So at least go get you a damn McChicken, but nah, you want to get that Jace. You want to get that juicy, uh, Jay Quan burger, man. But hey, man, that's why our people bugged out. It's hopefully this video is edifying, and I'm um, Shalom.